What is up, guys? It is your boy, Main Mania, and welcome back to another episode of MK Mobile. In today's episode, we are heading over into Faction Wars, and no, we're not going into Survivor. Today, we're going to try to do a character showcase. So, in today, we're going to do a five battle run. I never do seven because I don't like spending souls to refresh, and I don't think you should waste the ad commercials for two more battles. So, I, I never do more than five because I just feel like it makes no sense. But we're going to try to showcase MK11 Shang Tsung. Now, Shang Tsung, in my opinion, is one of the strongest diamonds. If you build him out right, he basically never dies. Like, he basically never dies. He's constantly healing, and he has one of the top two or three special twos in the game. Because not only is it unblockable, but it's also an insta-heal. It's not a heal over time like, you know, Spec Ops Scorpions or Ravenous Melina. The fact that it's an insta-heal is ridiculous. And um, I don't know. I don't think they'll nerf it in the future, but it's that freaking strong. So in today's build, we're going to run Barecho, who is one of the characters I hate playing the most in this game. He's going to have Circle of Shadow, Luke Kang, Protection. He's going to have the Devastator for Power Drain as well as Blazes. And the Telegreeka for a little bit of stun resistance. Hanzo Hasashi, my boy. Once again, we're rocking with gold characters because the plan here is to showcase Shang Tsung versus rely on our teammates to help us out. Yes, we will still use them, but the plan here is to show the strength of Shang Tsung if we can really do that. So... Hanzo's gonna get his equipment, the Vial of Infinite Blood, which is devastating on Hanzo. And he's gonna get the uh, Shao Kahn's helmet, just in case we need to use him as a backup damage dealer. Shang Tsung is going to get the Rusty Chainsaw Wrath Hammer combo. In addition to that, he's gonna get Karo's Guidance for health and the King Cobra Belt for some health and the opportunity to cause Cripple if somebody tries to, you know, try to have their way with me. So. Five battles, we're starting off with the Triborg team, aka Dot City. And uh, let's see how this goes, boys. Let's see how this goes. Hey, uh, the cool thing about the new quick battles in Faction Wars is that we can actually play Shang Tsung at Fusion X, even though we don't have him at Fusion X. So we can kind of see what the deal would be with him. Now, we're going to stick with Shang Tsung in this battle. I think one of the strongest things in this game is the fact that Shang Tsung could use their strongest enemy against him. Boom. Was I poisoned or something? That's all I healed from that? That's one. That's two. And this is three. Revenant's the only thing that can save you at this point, bro. You don't even need to use another one. That's game. All right. That's only the first battle. Nothing crazy. Dot City, Triborg team, but we pretty much washed them. Let's see what's going on in the next battle. Fight. All right. We got two X-Fusion Diamonds. Scorpion. We're gonna use Scorpion against them. And once again, this is the power of uh, Shang Tsung. It's like adding their best character and using them against them. Like, I know you salty, you just lost to your teammate, fam. And we're not in any kind of danger of losing any health anytime soon. So, we can afford to do this. Now, we're gonna heal, even though we're pretty good on health we're still gonna heal just because I feel like I should let one of my teammates get a little bit of love but once again the plan here is to showcase Shang Tsung and how devastating he can be and um, so far so good I think we've definitely showed that so far uh, this guy can die instantly at this point uh oh stun loop uh oh stun loop Stun loops aren't fun. But Shang Tsung has the last laugh. 
All right, next battle, unless you have Revenant. Those stun loops are pretty, pretty, pretty annoying. I don't know if you guys ever been stun looped by like a Kano before, but not fun, especially classic Kano that also has stun on combo enders. Bam. I have gotten classic Kato stun looped from like full health to dead. And it's literally one of the most frustrating things ever in this game because they added stun on a special one and combo enders and literally nothing you can do. Literally nothing. You better hope you get a bone shield if you have uh, Shinlux teachings. We have a combat cup, Sonya. We have to be very careful here. Um, I don't want you getting this first kill. We'll tag in Hanzo, let him do some work. Hanzo is so damn good. Beautiful! You have fallen from my trap card. We're gonna go combat cup Johnny. Because she's about to have a special and I wanted to power drain her. There we go. We'll get the power drain and we'll save the rest of our specials for when we transform back into Shang Tsung so we can heal. If we need to. We kind of don't though. No. Oh god, bitch. I want him to use his special on Borecho. Now the question is, will I be able to get out? Or do I have to just basically... Hmm. We'll give it one try. Got it. Oh, come on! You little shits. Well, I don't know how that happened, boys, but it happened. I, di I, I didn't think it was going to do it while he was on the ground, so that was pretty disappointing, to say the least. Very frustrated about that. But that can just show that just goes to show you that I, I haven't played Shang Tsung, so I didn't really know that that would have been a thing. But I don't want a chance um, tagging out against Combat Cup. She always gets the first stinking dibs, but we'll go ahead and wrap it up with this right here. One simple mistake could have cost me that battle like the full way, but um, thankfully we were able to recover at the end of the day. Um, we still obviously had Hanzo, you know, if they were to go down, but once again, I haven't played Shang Tsung, so I didn't realize that his timing would have done the special I tried to do the special in their getting up animation so it would have made sure I got that lock. And I had no idea the animation would start and basically miss. Um, I didn't I didn't know that was a thing, so. Fight. Alright, we got a Hanzo and we have a Tremor. Shang we'll stick with Shang soon. I was gonna go Hanzo, but I have a Hanzo. I don't wanna double Hanzo it. We'll do that. We'll get some heals back. That special two is strong, strong. Yo, I haven't gotten one stinking King Cobra belt yet. Come here. Who's he going to tag in as the weakest? Ooh, interesting. Another kill. For Rachel. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, Rachel could get this kill. Or, we can bring him in. We'll let him do some damage first. Now we'll heal from it. Oh, you bitch in your Varan jacket. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're one of those people, huh? You're one of those people. I don't know, guys. Let's talk about this in the comments section. Who has the best special two in the game? 
On instinct, I want to say classic Liu Kang does. But in practicality, I don't know, man. MK11 Shang Tsung may got he may have it. He may have it. He may have it. I don't know. Damage plus insta heal. It's it's wild, man. It's kind of wild. Fight. And now for the final battle, and we have an MK11 stinking team. And Jade is healing. I should have went Scorpion. But it's fine. We're not going to go Scorpion. Oh, God. Stop it. Oh, my God. <laughs> well. Need I say any more, guys? Need I say any more? Listen. I know a lot of people don't look at Shang Tsung as one of the top 10 diamonds in the game, but how could you not? How could you not when you, when he is an, one, he's an amazing support. He may not have great, you know, combo chaining potential, but he doesn't need to. Because if you give him power gen equipment and you give him health, that's all he literally needs. And it's, it's, it's curtains. It's literally curtains, curtains. 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 He has a lights out special too. And it just carries, man. It carries. You add him as a support to an MK11? Really? Really? Of course that would happen. They don't want to see you shine, Shang. They don't want to see you shine, Shang. But yeah, I mean... You add him as a support to an MK11 team, right? Not only are they getting heals on kills, but this guy tags in with a special two every time, does a massive amount of damage, plus gets healed himself while they're recovering and doing what they got to do. And you just back and forth that, man. You just back and forth that, you know? I feel like a lot of people don't rate Shang Tsung as highly as other diamonds because they haven't played him at Fusion X against really strong teams to see what he's really capable of. You know what I mean? Shang Tsung is pretty much a pay to play player, right? Uh, uh, some of us got him through the Sorceress Tower, but for the most part, he's a pay to win character. So there aren't many people that have him at Fusion X, you know? Uh, and now that we have this new mode in Faction Wars through the quick battles where you can level him up to the second highest uh, Fusion character on your team, automatically now people can see him at max potential now we only surrounded him with golds intentionally because we wanted to showcase shang Tsung. you put him on an mk11 team where he actually has synergies and he only becomes better once again i wanted to intentionally make sure his teammates did not have any synergy with him so he can just do his own thing like raw but you actually put him with MK11 you know, Noob Cybot or Scorpion, Jade, Cabal, Sub-Zero, and it's curtains. It's lights out. It's curtains. So I definitely think he's that good and that strong. And I definitely don't think he's overrated. I think he's massively underrated. And a lot of it has to do with that special too. I don't even think I gave him the best build. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there are so many other equipment pieces I could have used on him. But instead, I just wanted to give him some very basic equipment to showcase him. I wasn't trying to, you know, put together the most OP or strongest build. I was just trying to show, like, you know, with basic or common equipment, he still can absolutely carry. Not only can he be a, a main damage dealer, but he can be, like, the most amazing second damage uh dealer on your team while also being the support of your team so i just think he has tremendous value and it really is a shame that he's a pay to win character because most of us will probably have no chance of maxing him out uh they were shang Tsung souls packs but i doubt we'll see those you know frequently enough to get him to fusion x if you guys Still have doubts about Shang Tsung. Hopefully you don't anymore. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up today's Shang Tsung showcase. 
Uh, let me know in the comments section if there's any other characters you would like for me to showcase in the future. Uh, be more than interested to do that. And once again, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Q&A coming soon. Make sure you guys leave your questions on that video, not this one. They will not be answered if they're on the wrong video. So once again, let me know if there's any characters you guys would like for me to showcase uh, in a similar manner. Uh, we can even do it in different ways or different modes or with different teams. Once again, I didn't want to put Shang Tsung with any kind of OP teammates. I just wanted to put him with some gold characters to kind of showcase what he can do. Um, I can put him on a team with some max out diamonds and see what he does with them. But at the end of the day, I think the man is pretty damn strong. Definitely one of the best diamonds, and I would argue easily top 10. I would argue easily top 10. Everyone's going to have their own opinion, and that is okay. But personally speaking, if you use him right, he'll never die. Like, I didn't even use him tagging in and out, you know, all that good stuff. If you use him right on a great diamond team, he'll never die. He just won't die. You can't stop him. He'll never die. So I think he's incredibly strong and equipment will only make him stronger. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Y'all know the deal. If you are new to the channel and not yet subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And lastly, do not forget to leave your boy some love by hitting that like button. Since none of you guys gave me a lasagna recipe, you better make sure you at least give me a like. It's your boy. I'm out.